Welcome to the first in a series of tutorials which will demonstrate the functions and capabilities of Statistics New Zealand's InfoShare tool. InfoShare gives you access to a large variety of Statistics New Zealand's time series databases which are updated on a regular basis and hence are a useful tool to use to build tables featuring the most up-to-date statistics. In fact, InfoShare's databases are updated as soon as Statistics New Zealand releases new data so you can be sure that you are receiving the most recent set of figures for your particular query. You'll find InfoShare under the Quick Links section on the Statistics New Zealand's homepage. Alternatively, you can use the short URL for InfoShare, which is www.stats.govt.nz forward slash InfoShare. Now let's go into InfoShare. Once we've opened up InfoShare, by default we are taken through to the Browse menu. Here we have several folders to choose from in order to find the table which is likely to contain in the statistics we require. For example, if we wanted to find the latest immigration statistics, we would click on the Tourism folder. Within the Tourism folder, there are some subfolders. We'll find immigration statistics within the International Travel and Migration folder. Now we get to choose the table. Each of the titles shown here will include slightly different variables in the final table. We choose the title which includes the variables that are closest to our query. This stage can sometimes involve a lot of searching and maybe even some trial and error in order to find the table which is most likely to satisfy our query. To gain assistance at this stage, it could be an idea to call our free phone information service on 0508 525 525 during office hours. As an alternative to the browse method of finding your table, we can also use the search tab at the top of the screen. Here we can type in keywords related to our search. And then click on search. The search engine will return the most relevant results in, to our search in descending order. And from here we simply choose the table that looks most likely to address our query. You can also sort the search results by relevance, last updated, the name or the group of datasets. On some queries you will find lots of results returned, for example when we search for the word migration. You will see here 294 results have been returned. So from here it can be a good idea to show search options. And you can use the tools in there to help refine our search. In this example we're going to look for permanent total statistics. To do this you click on include all keywords and also search and last search results. Now the choice of tables has been narrowed down considerably and it should be easy to select the most relevant table for your query. Join me in the next tutorial where we will show you how to select variables and generate a table.